Hi, hello, welcome back to the Vagabond Tribune. Um, today I thought I would do a favorites video. So, um, yeah, I've got, it's all skincare. Well, nope, I've also got some body care and a little bit of hair and a parfum. Parfum. Perfume. Uh, I will on occasion be looking over here to my right because I I made notes because I have um, I have a terrible memory and uh, there was some things that I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget when I was talking about these items so uh, that's that's gonna happen um, I left my Invisalign out today so that perhaps I don't smack as much we'll see Okay, already getting weird. Okay, uh, no, doesn't prevent it. Now we know. Okay, let's just start. Let's start. I talked about these first two ingre ingredients products in my first video um, when I did my morning skincare routine. First is the Audacite Blue Aura Cleansing Water. Um, I just love this. It is super easy. I'm. I have a tendency to be... A little lazy um, I have ADHD like been diagnosed I don't take medication for it because I just don't like to take medication for it if I'm not in school or working you know something that really actually requires my brain to be focused um, I don't like to take I don't like to take that at all so um, yeah so I I can't be asked to do a whole lot of, of difficult things, a lot of steps, what have you. So this is really easy um, to just take off the uh, skincare I had on the night before or if for whatever reason, like if I put on some skincare and a new sunscreen and it was pilling, it's easy to use this to just take it off and uh, start, start new. It doesn't feel like it leaves anything on my skin. It doesn't seem to be drying it out. So yeah, it's just easy. And the next one is the Honua Paakai Cleansing Cream. I cannot stop using this. I cannot, I, I got this back in, during the holidays, um, during a sale. And I kept it in my drawer down here where I keep backups and things that I've impulse spot perhaps um, and I didn't open this until maybe a month ago because um, I have other cleansers that are open that I need to get through but two of them are oil cleansers and oil cleansers when you don't have the greatest attention span or patience maybe it's just patience maybe it's just lazy I don't know um, but I have if you can't tell very very fine thin hair. So if I use an oil cleanser and it without fail gets in my roots, I then have to wash my hair. I try not to wash my hair. I mean, that's not the right way to say it. I, I wash my hair as frequently as I have to, <laughs> um, which is actually about every three days because my hair is so fine and so thin that any oil that my scalp produces, my hair just starts to look, um, greasy within three days. So I can't actually go that long without uh, without washing my hair. So when I use an oil cleanser, it gets in my roots and then it's a whole other commitment. So um, this is just, it's easy. I mean, there's something about it is just enjoyable to me. I, it's something about the the process of it, like it goes on it comes out real thin like a, a light lotion and as you start rubbing it it gets a little thicker and turns into more of a cream like the name suggests um, and then you add you know get put some water in your fingertips and it turns into a milk and you continue to to wash and then it rinses away leaves nothing behind I don't um, even though I am very dry skinned. I do not like cleansers that feel like it leaves something behind. I don't, 
I don't want my cleanser to moisturize. I want my moisturizer to moisturize. My cleanser, I just want it to cleanse and not dry out my skin. So yeah, I just, I can't, I can't stop using this. I have uh, other cleansers that I need to, to use up, but I just keep reaching for this. It smells lovely and I just enjoy using it. Oh, I did want to tell you about, I'm sure there are, there are several other YouTubers who I've heard talk about this, so you probably already know, um, but I did want to just bring up a couple of things about this. The name Pa'akai actually means salt in Hawaiian, um, and it does have Hawaiian salt as one of the top ingredients, as well as witch hazel. And when I first read that ingredient list, I thought, oh, that's going to dry out my skin. But it doesn't, because it also has um, wild harvested seaweed extract, rosehip seeds, and safflower and sesame oil. Um, yeah, somehow it, it just doesn't dry out my skin. It's just, it's perfect. That's enough. Okay, moving on. So, these next couple of products. In my first video, I told y'all that I did a little bit of an uh-oh to my skin several weeks ago now. Um, I had used retinol, a new strong lactic acid, and a new strong vitamin C serum all within like in three days. Like it was, I just did too much. I, I got, I got greedy. I thought, oh, I want, I want to see all the things, you know, put too much stuff in my face. I mean, I want, I, I called it a burn. It wasn't a burn, I don't think. But you know how, like, if you overuse stuff, you'll get just sensitized? Well, I had done that to my face. And to um, try and combat that or, you know, recover the integrity of my skin, I started pulling out all of the products that I have that are really hydrating and supposed to be reparative and rejuvenative. And as I did that, I started to realize this is turning into an Earthwise Beauty routine. Uh, this is not sponsored in any way. Ava has no idea who I am. <laughs> um, I'm a huge fan of hers, by the way. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, Earthwise Beauty. So yeah, the first one is, um, I think this is her newest product on a swing among trees. It is a serum in a mist. Um, let's see. Our mist serum is about so much more than just providing the skin with moisture. Myrrh and frankincense resins have been used since antiquity to preserve youthful skin appearance. They've added mendel turmeric and skin barrier reinforcing plant ceramides for broad acting at ultra lightweight product to address the needs of mature skin. Um, let me also say first, if you're interested in any Earthwise Beauty product, let me encourage you to go to their website. Ava has, I think, the best skincare website out there. For every one of her products, she goes into an, a huge amount of detail um, about the product itself, the individual ingredients, what they're for, um, who it's for, how to use it, the sustainability, how these the ingredients were procured. Um, just an amazing amount of information on every single one of her products. So if you're interested in anything, I'm not going to be able to tell you anything. Everything I'm going to be telling you, I took from their website. Um, so yeah, back to on a swing among the trees. Um, on the website it says it's not about hydrating. The key ingredients are for wrinkles, loss of skin firm firmness or vigor, collagen loss, and damaged or weak skin barrier. And that's exactly the problem that I was having I was trying to address. So I would miss my face with this and then I made a cocktail. Um, I forgot to talk about this in my first video when I was telling you about my morning skincare routine because I keep this in the refrigerator and it just slipped my mind. This is a cult classic from them. 
Nap in the Meadow Face Serum. Um, let's see. Anti-inflammatory, hydrating, aloe-based, turmeric CO2, supercritical extract, yarrow oil, uh, German blue camo oil, heli helichrysum. It's for all skin types, especially dry and dehydrated, mature, those with eczema, rosacea, and psoriasis. So again, another product that was specifically what I was looking for when I was looking for something to uh, kind of repair the damage that I had done. So I was cocktailing that, and I would put a couple of drops of the Aurelia um, CBD Super Serum. Um, let's see, I've got their website pulled up here. Um, known for its high levels of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory effects on the skin. Most effective way of improving skin resilience. So put that, some of that in my little cocktail. Along with, um, actually either along with those other things or by itself. It just depended on what I was in the mood for. But this is Earthwise Beauty's. Uh, ferns and moss face serum. I heard about this for the first time from Andy of um, Andy the Green Queen. And I think this is still her favorite face oil. And she is years and years younger than me, but she also has dry skin. So when she was talking about this, I was like, I, I gotta try that. And so I bought this also during the holidays, but I just kept it. I'm one of those people that will buy something and then I just I don't want to open it and use it because I, it's so precious, you know. Um, I did that with this until I um, upset my skin barrier and then really needed something to help. And I started using this. And this has a very interesting texture. Um, let's see. I mean, it's obviously an oil. And it's very viscous, but it also feels, it also feels kind of like a serum and how quickly it absorbs. I mean, with the thickness of that oil, you would think, oh, it's, it's just going to sit on top, but it, it just disappears into the skin. I mean, you can probably tell that I put it on. But um, as time goes on, like second by second, it absorbs more and more until you can't see it. And while I love, you know, I want, um, I want a lot of moisture on my skin, I don't want to feel like I've just stuck my head in a bat Crisco. And I don't like that feeling of laying down on my pillow at night and my face <laughs> sticks to it. I don't like that feeling. So this is just intensely nourishing, um, it feels amazing, it, it doesn't make you feel greasy, like I said, um, and really within, I mean the next morning I could tell that I was a lot less sensitized in the places where I had really given it to myself, um, and within three days it was like it never happened. I mean, those products worked really, really well for me. Okay, here's something that I never thought I would talk about in a favorites video, is an IUNA product. Um, I am, I'm a member of Beauty, Beauty Heroes, I have, or a subscriber, however you want to say that. Um, I've had a subscription to them for about, I think maybe two years now, maybe two years now. And there have been a couple of boxes with IUNA products in them. The first, well, I'm not, let's just, let's not make this a really long story. Um, I didn't care for any of them, really. I mean, I thought a couple of them were okay, um, but wasn't wowed by any of them, especially not considering uh, the price. I think, anyway, anyway, this is Iuna. Uh, cream 2, this is the Rich formula. Um, let's see, I brought up the uh, their p product page on Beauty Heroes. 
And it said, Rich is a scientifically advanced botanical formula that boasts an array of high-performance natural ingredients. Phytopeptides and plasmas rich in botanical cell factors from green carrot, Arabian cotton, pomegranate, and phytopeptidic fractions from turmeric root and centella help skin maintain a feeling of regeneration. While rich in nutrients, its light application makes skin feel soft and moisturized while leaving behind a supple, revitalized appearance. Um, this is beautiful. I, I was shocked. Can, this was probably my, I want to say fifth about the fifth Iuna product I've tried. And when, I think this came in the Beauty Heroes five year anniversary box, I believe. Is that, that's where, where this came from back in January, maybe? Could have been before that. Um, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, here we go, guys. And just a couple of weeks ago, I, I opened that up. I wasn't sure. I because they sent um, Ayuna's cream one, the light version of this, was in one of the very first boxes I got, and it was. I mean, fine, whatever. I don't care for the scent of Ayuna. There is an alkaline smell to it that I just don't jam with. I don't. I don't know how else to describe it. It just smells alkaline um it's not terrible it's just i don't know i just don't love it um but yeah that one didn't really impress me and i actually ended up using it as you know kind of a middle of the day if i needed to throw something else on i would throw it on and it was kind of it hurt to do that because it'd be, you know they're all really expensive products and so I felt bad for not loving them. I felt bad for not, um, you know, for not treating them like they were the end all be all, but I just didn't care for them. Until this one. This one um, is actually really, really lovely. Um, it's, let's see, it is a lot thicker. Uh, it's more dense, I would say, than Cream 1. Hold on, I don't want to that much. Let's see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. It is... I'm going to have to work harder at describing things. I would say it's unctuous. Is that the right word? Should I Google it? I'll Google it and, and edit it out if that is really not what I mean. Um... It's delicious. It's just, it's delicious. I can't, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, no way. <laughs> I finally love an Iuna product. Um, yeah, it, it goes in, even though it is very dense and I would say occlusive, it's the last thing I will put on if I'm going to use it. And I actually do cherish this one. Um, the other ones, the other products that, that I got, I pretty much just tried to get through them like find some place to put this thing um but this one i am a little precious with because it's it's beautiful it really is beautiful um i don't know if they sell this specific size online or if it just you know they just did that for beauty heroes but um to buy a full size is 198 dollars for 1.6 ounces a little I don't know maybe when I get a job maybe when I get the job um, it is beautiful and I really like it okay I had to take a, a water break um, next up this is five Yina Gui Ying decolletage treatment um, several several months ago I purchased the truth treatments by vitamin C transdermal balm and I was trying it out on my chest. My chest, I'm a side sleeper, I've got wide shoulders, so when I sleep all the skin bunches up and I had just striations of wrinkles and it was red and blotchy. It was a rather hot mess. And so I started using the that tra uh, Truth Treatments transdermal vitamin C balm 
and not exaggerating, within about four days, I started seeing an improvement. After one to two weeks, I couldn't believe it. Like, I really honestly could not believe it. Um, I used it up to the last drop. I, I repurchased it, actually. I went through two of the smaller sizes of them. And after I went, I went through them way too fast. You're supposed to only use, like, a pea size. I am very heavy handed because I do have very dry, dehydrated skin. Anything I put on my skin, it just drinks it up. So like if something says one pump, no, no mama, it's going to be more like three for me because one pump, I barely get this big old forehead. Um, so I used a lot of it and I went up and through it really, really quickly and I thought because it's kind of expensive, I can't remember offhand, I want to say... It's $70 for the small size. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I thought, so I, I started wondering, right? Well, what is it exactly about this product that is producing the results? And I thought, well, maybe it is the, um, the base of it, the um, occlusive nature of the moisturizing agent that's actually just So rude. I actually found out that it, it's uh, 29 minutes or 4 gigabytes, so apparently I've already met my limit. Um, where was I? Right, so I thought maybe it's just the base of the product. Maybe I can find something um, that will be equally moisturizing to prevent the skin from sticking to itself. Maybe that's what's making the striation. So I bought this. Um, on the box it says, Nourish delicate skin on your neck, chest, and breasts with the Guiying Decolletage Treatment Balm. Formulated with potent medicinal plants to promote lymphatic circulation and prevent stagnation. Infused in nourishing botanical oils and plant butters to restore skin elasticity, repair free radical damage, and stretch marks. A daily ritual keeps your skin firm, radiant, and luscious. I was like, yes. Okay. I can't remember how much this cost. They were having a sale when I bought it. This, oh my god. This is one of the most beautiful things. Y'all gotta see this. Let me, let me dem demonstrate. So here's the jar that it comes in. And whenever something comes with um, an inner lid, I always, always keep it to keep it fresh. So if you look, it, it looks just like a balm, right? Very hard, very pressed oil balm. Um, I believe it came with a spatula and I don't know what I did with it. We'll just use this one. But so I'm gonna pick some up. So here it is. And when you put it on the skin, I hope you will be able to watch it melt. I am so hot right now, it should be melting. Let's see. It is melting a bit. When I put this, um, I will usually put it on my neck. Um, let's just go ahead and do it and see if it will do it. If you can see where it's shiny, it actually starts, my point is, <laughs> it starts melting with the heat of your skin. There it goes. Can you see? It just melted. And then, it was really wise to put it on your throat, Summer. You're not talking or anything. Just uh, massage it in, and it massages in really nicely. Um, it smells beautiful, and I don't know why it had only occurred to me. It was just like right before I started feeling this, I was like, what is it about this? What, what makes this smell so nice? And um, there are a lot of ingredients that I have never heard before in my whole life. But one that I did recognize is magnolia. 
I'm a Mississippi girl. That's all they had to say. All they had to say was Magnolia. Anyway, it's beautiful. Back to the point. The point was, I bought this thinking um, it could be an alternative to the tr treatments product. And I don't know that this is any, any cheaper than that. I just wanted it. I just wanted it. I wanted it. I think I heard someone else talking about this. I was intrigued. I waited a long time. I waited a long time. I keep a running wish list. I'm sure a lot of y'all do. But um, yeah, this is beautiful. It's beautiful on on the neck and the chest, and it is working in the same way as the Truth Treatments in that really the bottom line is it just keeps the skin from adhering to itself really when I'm sleeping. And it smells amazing. It's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, rub it in. Now I've got everything on this hand. That's all right. Usually everything ends up on this. This hand, when I'm 80, is going to look 40. Four. All right. Moving on. Lip treatments. So, one of these. Yeah. One of these. This one came in a Beauty Heroes box. This is Beneath Your Mask Remedy Conditioning Lip Balm. Um, it doesn't have the ingredients on it, obviously. But I use this all winter. Um, I have a, you know, I'm dry everywhere, so of course my lips dry. And I use this in the winter, not just at night, but also during the day, especially if it was cold outside, going to walk the dogs. Um, really, really nice. Really nice. Like that a lot. And then I bought, at almost the same time, I can't remember which came first, but um, I got the Fit Glow Beauty Night Serum. And this, this I just use all the time. I, I use it at night, I also use it during the day. I think it's just a beautiful, a beautiful gloss. And it is really nice on the lips. And it's, it does stay pretty well. I, it's not just like, it's not just a clear lip gloss that will, you know, be gone in, a, in several minutes. It really is um, lovely on the lips and I like the look of it too. So that's all of the face stuff. I have just a few um, hair body things. Um, one of them, seem a little random. This is a Trader Joe's bar of lavender soap. And if you can see, there are actual lavender petals in there. I have keratosis pilaris on the backs of my arms um, and most most soaps I don't know that it causes it but it allows it to happen I think that's probably a more accurate way to say it this soap this is the most perfect bar of soap not spawn Trader Joe's <laughs> when I go I buy six or seven of these at a time because it's my husband and I it's both of our favorite bar of soap and Trader Joe's is like 45 minutes from here so but this soap I rub it directly on the backs of my arm and if I have been using another soap this gets rid of the keratosis pilaris within four days four or five days if I continuously use it it doesn't come back it's not drying it smells amazing it makes the whole bathroom smell like lavender and it wafts out from under the door and if he's showering i can smell it if i'm sh showering he can smell it um it's not drying i wouldn't say it's moisturizing but again i don't i i prefer my cleaning things to just clean just clean that's all i ask you to do just clean and don't dry um yeah also, because it is lavender, it does have antiseptic properties and deodor deodorizing properties. So it's really nice in the summertime when I'm out walking the dogs, it's 96 degrees, 90% 90 humidity, and I smell, I smell. This is, it's a perfect soap. I love this soap. It's rid of keratosis pilaris. There you go. 
All right, hair stuff. As I said, I have very fine, very thin hair. It's gotten thinner, a lot thinner since, um, since my Hashimoto's was triggered uh, a year ago, or a little over a year ago now. Um, and I just had a, a recent flare up, had some things going on in, in my life that were uh, stressful, traumatic, whatever. Um, really thin, fine hair. Conditioner, I have never, never found a conditioner that did more than just feel like somebody blew their nose in my hair. Like, usually I put conditioner on and it's just slimy. It just feels like it sits on the top of my hair, takes an age to rinse out, just a pain and it does nothing. Well, about maybe two years ago, <laughs> my memory, you guys, we'll just say it's two years ago. I think it's, I think it's two years ago. I got a sample of this. This is the Rawa Omega-9 hair mask. Got a sample of this, came with something, maybe a Derm store order. And I got it and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with this? This is just gonna tick me off. I got in the shower and I was like, whatever, I'll give it a go. So I put just a scant amount, as per usual, in my hand, put it in my hair and it disappeared. Like, disappeared. And I was like, what? And I picked up this sample and I was like, let's make sure this is what I think it is. Cause it just disappeared. Disappeared, my hair, I don't know if hair soaks things up, maybe it, I don't know. It just, it disappeared. When I rinsed it, it didn't have that slimy feeling. Like I could, I was rinsing it out, but it felt like it wasn't as much as I had put in, if that makes sense. And my hair just, feels it just makes my hair feel really nice so I use this like a conditioner I do not use this like a mask I use it exactly as I would use a conditioner except I only I use this on the third day like I'll wash my hair the next day I'll just rinse my hair the second day I will usually you put this in like a conditioner like the when I first get in put it in let it sit while I take my shower and then rinse it out at the end that's how I use this and it's brilliant it's this this would last me probably the rest of my life <laughs> I mean I'll probably have to repurchase it because there are oils in it that will go off but if you have fine and thin hair and you have a trouble if you have a trouble <laughs> if you have trouble finding a conditioner that doesn't just feel like it's not in your hair how's that for a commercial okay then here's another thing that I bought over the holidays. I believe I got this from Derm Store, maybe Derm Store or Sephora, I can't remember. Ellis Brooklyn Library of Fragrances. I love perfume. The, that lady, when you're out shopping and you're like, who has all that perfume on? It's me. I love a perfume. I will hose myself down in some smell good perfume. Not to a restaurant. I do not wear perfume to a restaurant. That is rude. But anywhere else, tch, 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 heck yeah. Um, so yeah, I had tried, I'd gotten a sample of Myth before. I think it was, that was her, maybe her first perfume. And I loved it. Myth smells to me like just the perfect perfume. Like a grown up, sophisticated, not offensively, you know, any type of smell, just a, a lovely perfume. And so I thought, well, I want to see what else she had because, and these are clean, green. Oh. And so this came with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Faster. Eight different ones to try. So far, um, I've only tried our rose, ro rose. <laughs> And today I'm wearing Raven, actually. Raven's nice. It's not lasting very long. Um, I'm terrible at describing fragrances. Um, I will say that Ro Rose <laughs> reminds me of sunflowers. Do y'all remember the perfume sunflowers from the 90s? I think it was Estee Lauder. 
may not have been, but it came out in the 90s, and oh my god, it just takes me back to 1993, 1994. I was young. It's lovely. It's lovely. Um, I haven't tried the other ones, but um, actually, I did try F Fable. It's just fun. I just, I enjoy. I enjoy a bit of perfume and getting to try. They're, I mean, they're, I think, fairly well sized. Um, each one of them, you can get a lot. Like I'll show you. I've used the most, most out of Rose. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop doing it. And there's still like I've only used a quarter of it, and I've used, I've used that for a while. So I think it's a good value for money, and I got it on sale, like I said. But I just enjoy smelling good. This is the, the second video that I filmed um, for YouTube, and both times, in the process of getting getting dressed and getting ready to film, I put on perfume, and my husband was like, "Did they get smell a vision?" Like, no. Anyway, that's all of my favorites. I was thinking, actually, depending on how long this ran, I was gonna do my. I was going to include food favorites because I love some food and snacks, snacks and chocolate really. But I believe this, when I put it all together, this video is probably going to be about 40 minutes or so. So I won't wear out my welcome. Um, thank you for watching. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out to Marie from And The Color Green and to Jen of Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. Thank you both so much for being so supportive of me starting a channel and for your advice and, you know, tips and, and things like that. Um, yeah, thank you very much to both of you and uh, thank you to everyone for, for coming back in and watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. I may or may not be able to answer them, but um, I hope everyone is well. I hope, you know, we're still doing the thing. Still doing it. I'm I'm reluctant to to say um, that I'm not bothered by it because I'm sure someone's gonna get someone's gonna throw come at me for it. I don't have a job. I haven't had a job since we moved here. I'm a homebody. So really, this is I mean, other than the fact that I'm not going to Trader Joe's once a month, it's really not a lot of difference to me. I love being home. My dogs are great listeners. They never sass me. Well, that little one. <laughs> the little one's got a lip on her. But um, yeah, I hope, I hope everyone is, is doing well. I don't know how much longer this is going to go on. Um, but just, you know, that's great advice. Just, you know, just, you know, bye. No, kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this. Cut all of this out. Bye. Honey. <laughs>
welcome back to the Vagabond Tribune. I'm looking into 